I don't usually record videos, uh, but I thought this might be useful for some administrator out there, or maybe someone that bought this Chromebook and doesn't know what to do about their broken keyboard. Um, all of the Lenovo N22s that were produced have been having issues with keyboards not functioning when pressed. Uh, it turns out it's actually an issue with the ribbon, but Lenovo doesn't talk about that. So in the past we've been forced to buy a new keyboard and touchpad assemblies pretty much this entire portion here. Uh, which it gets a bit expensive. It's about $40 to replace it. I found after tinkering with it that actually if you turn it over here and take the ribbon off the board, the issue, if I can get it to focus, is these little pads on the bottom of the ribbon. You can see the little white line closer to the edge right there. I don't know if you can quite see that, but apparently they actually wear down and corrode and it breaks the connection. So what I do to fix this, if I can get my tool here, just get some snippers, and I'm going to try to do this in front of the camera, but you want to take these little teeth off of the side here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And snip the other side. And then you want to look at where the corrosion is, it's easier to see in person. And you want to cut right along that corroded part. I might not get this on camera, I'm going to look at this instead here. I don't want to mess this up. It's a bit hard to cut. And there we go. So I took about a millimeter off of the wire, and you can see that the rest is still exposed. You don't have to sand it or anything, it's all exposed electrodes. And then what you can do is just stick that back in the ribbon cable, and it doesn't matter that the edge pieces aren't there as long as you're not pulling on the cable. So I will resume when I have the computer back on again. Okay, so the uh, keyboard is reattached, and I just kind of roughly attached it here so I can go back and make changes if I have to cut more. But if I look up here now, I should be able to get the keys that were not working before to register, which included the W, 1, 2, and 3 keys. It's always different. This will work in any case. So down here, W, 1, 2, 3, should be four characters. And there it is. Just to go across the entire thing here. It might be good to use an online keyboard tester to verify that everything's working. You may also want to fiddle with the cable a little bit more. Uh, sometimes the corrosion actually happens inside of the ribbon itself. So you may just want to take the ribbon, and it sounds kind of funny, but just kind of lightly pull on it from the side with the keyboard here. Just give it a gentle little knock back and forth, kind of wrinkle it up a little bit. And I find that in most cases that does the trick. So hopefully this helps someone else out, out there who's having trouble, and you know you don't have to spend a fortune replacing your entire fleet of keyboards. Hope that helps. Bye.